all right so we're going to start out this morning or this afternoon uh we are over here at mcray's this is the little hotel you can see behind me and we are just walking across the street here or the parking lot and the boat is right over here at the dock As a matter of fact i can see the top of it over there she's still floating so that's a good sign <laughs> Now, actually, I came and checked on it last night and this morning. It has not taken on any water, thankfully, so that's a very good thing. And uh, it's actually a pretty nice place here. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, baby. Hi. So let's get started on this journey. Well, one thing is for sure, the tide is up. This has to be high tide. Because as you can see, it's like right up touching the docks. So that's a good thing for us as far as going out and exploring and not worrying as much about hitting stuff. The only problem is later this evening when we're coming back, we really won't know how safe that actual uh, direction we was going is going to be. Because we might hit something shallow. Hopefully not. So let's get on. Good for a ride. Man, look how high the boat is now. <laughs> yeah, tide is at full. All right, come on, Jas. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, no, something got in here. That might have been last night. Was that the door? Yeah, I left it open. Nah. Got some airboats going on. It's probably a little tour ride you can take. So we are leaving the hotel docks and we're going to see if we can find three sisters today. Three sisters in Springs. Oh boy, I tell you, this stuff can be a little hectic sometimes because right now it's high tide and we're cruising along right here. About to get out in the, uh, I don't know what the area is called, where all the little islands are. And I was always told it's red right return. So as I'm coming out, I had the green on my right. And we just hit. I felt it hit real bad. And uh, luckily we were just idling along like this. And I looked over and it said 2.2 and I raised the foot real quick. Let off the throttle and it raised up. It was all right. It didn't appear to hurt anything. I didn't actually check the edges on that prop yet, but I think they're all right. And I was pretty much right on my line and stuff or close to it, you know, at that time. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> anyway, you better be careful out here. Let's put it that way. So when we come back later, it's really going to be iffy. I'm hoping when I get out here, we have passed a few boats, but they were coming in. So I'm hoping as we get out here into this area where all the islands are, that we'll be able to jump in behind somebody. Heading to Crystal River. we can make this without hitting again. Bring us good luck, Jasper. Say a prayer. We'll try to keep it on the line again this time. I don't see any others. Coming back in, claiming defeat with my head held low. On low, whatever. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. We couldn't make it through there. It's too much navigating for my butt. I don't know. Even trying to use GPS is just too much. Stressing her out too bad. We wound up hitting another spot and uh, didn't cause any damage or anything, but we did hit, so. 
kind of called it quits. I guess we'll see if we load it up on the trailer and take it over or not. See if we can uh, lower the river. But I followed another boat back just for the heck of it. And then I did learn a little something about heading towards the white poles, the little PVC poles that actually have paint on them. Because uh, there was some in the middle that were just red with like a black stripe around it. And they, uh, you're supposed to just kind of swing out towards them. And then on the way, I, I noticed there was some that were red and green at the very top of them. And so you got to head towards them, but anyway, and keep them on your right and left. All right, so we came over to Port Island Trail State Park or boat landing or something, boat launch. And uh, I was just about to jump out and put it in the water and then this rolls in on us. I mean, it is storming like crazy on us. And so we figured something is not meant to be on this trip. What do you think, Jasp? Freaking rain. I seen it rolling in. And it wound up being a little later than I was planning on. It's like a little after five now already. Because you decided to watch Cobra Kai. Yeah. Freaking Cobra Kai got me today. That's the fifth season. I haven't seen it yet. So it was real hot this afternoon. We were both aggravated with the, or stressed, I should say. Her especially with us hitting land. <laughs> Did not do any damage to the prop or skeg or anything like that, thank God. But anyway, so yeah, I had to slip in a few episodes this afternoon. <laughs> Chill in the hotel, it was raining anyway, it was hot. Then it cleared up, I thought, and now this again. As soon as we pull in the parking lot, it was so nice and sunny a minute ago. So anyway, we'll let you know if we uh, get back on the water in the next 20 minutes or so. If not, I guess. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Mark covered guy. I'll finish the fifth season, I guess. <laughs> Bye. So we decided to come on out because the rain slowed down. Pretty much came to a stop. And as soon as we put the boat in, come on here nice enough to uh, let us know that he seen the storm was coming in. That's why he pulled in here for a few to wait it out. Hopefully we're going to just let it blow over and go check out the springs. We're still determined. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. All right, so we're coming out. We're going to hit it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, we don't want to hit anything. But <laughs> it kind of cleared up for a few minutes here. It looks like it might be a little something brewing in the sky over here still. But I'm just hoping that we don't really get hit by it. That is the direction we got to go, though to get to the spring anyway. So we are coming out to the main river here, this is the Crystal River. And he was telling me we're pretty much okay in here once we get out of this little area here. It's only uh, 2.8 or so. So we'll uh, come on out here and see if we can get over into the actual channel mark. We need some of that beautiful weather over there to come on this way. So we're finally moving along good. We're in a pretty big area. The channels are uh, marked very nicely, so I'm happy with that. So now if the storm will hold out. All right, so we did make it over here very close to the uh, spring, but we keep hitting bottom and stuff like that. It gets about 1.3, 1.2, stuff like that. And I just don't know where the heck I'm at. So we're going to have to stop. I mean, it's like right here is one of them and one's over here. And that's the three sisters anyway. But the water is definitely cleaner here. You're not going to be able to tell right now. But uh, you can definitely see the bottom and stuff. And it's cleaner than the other river. But it's pretty overcast right now. It's trying to. Yeah. No, I don't want to show you then. Yeah, she's pretty mad because I'm stressing her out, hitting the bottom and stuff like that. Thinks we're going to get stuck. So, what do you think, Jasp? Hmm? Huh? 
good boy, good puppy. So I guess we're gonna chill here for a few minutes and probably head on back. Here comes the rain. Call it our trip. Hopefully we don't get rained on too bad again. Yeah, it is kind of coming this way. All right, so we're gonna call it quits and get out of here. But we did make it. Maybe on a cleaner, I mean a prettier day, it would be a lot better experience. And if I knew where I was going or had somebody to follow or hey, you might even want to take one of these tours out here if you're smart. <laughs> if you don't have a little boat or something, you know. But that would be even good too. Kayak or a small boat. So uh, anyway, let's see what we can get into in our next video. Thanks for hanging out and checking out our journey. Docking like a pro. All right, so I'm going to close the video for good this time. I'm out at uh, McRae's. I was going to show you around a little bit real quick at night. That's Crumps across the river. Get you a better shot here. Right across, directly across. And it's a Tuesday night. There's not a whole lot going on. But it is a very nice setup. And uh, even on this side, on the gray side I like it. it has a real nice dock got a bait house uh, got the party going on down there at the shed nice loading ramp just the one we used and then the hotel is right back there in the background a little tricky to see but we're right there oops stop Jasper Jasper pulling me along So, don't let me give you the wrong impression. It's a really clean place. I like this. Uh, it, McRae's, it's just a nice little setup if you are into the river stuff. You know, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not really much of a fisherman. I just like pleasure boating and exploring new places, especially along these beautiful Florida waterways. So, again, we did have a good time. It just was uh, pretty stressful a few times. And, but don't let that give you the wrong impression. Like I said, on a nice, clear day and, you know, just no problems out of your boat and all that kind of stuff. No idiot mistakes when you're loading it and stuff like that and unloading and navigating. Then you can have a really nice day. <laughs> or even if you're into, like, kayaking and stuff. But anyway, I guess we're out this time. Here's the inside of the shed. Little cabana type thing that's out here on the, right on the river. Very nice setup. Nice and clean and uh, you got the river right here. I mean, pretty much sitting here at the bar there's the water so and I liked it because we was able to dock the boat right here last night and then pretty much right over here is the hotel right there's the hotel area pretty nice setup and then uh But it's kind of late. Everything's shut down now. 